I started drawing and doing anything creative probably around the age of two, I think. I drew a three-dimensional barn uh, with animals and stuff in like when I was two in the backseat of a car while my mom was trying to keep me busy so I wouldn't bug the realtor that they were driving around with. And, or that's what my mom states anyway. And they've, my parents have been a big encouragement ever, ever since. I started pursuing art realistically junior year in high school. They offered us like an AP class or something and I took it seriously from that point on. I have a BFA in art from Valdosta State University. I got dragged to the church a, a lot on Sunday. My dad would always give me the you know, 50 cents to put in the, in the collection or whatever during Sunday school, but um, it, wasn't, it was barely even head knowledge. It wasn't until college when I, it actually went from my head to my heart. And I didn't know there was really a relationship possibility until I knew other Christians at college who walked and talked what, what they believed and you know, talked about their quiet times, the conversations they've had with God, what they're learning from the Bible, you know, how to apply certain things from scripture, certain things from sermons, it all, you know, that, was, that was new to me. I went overseas for three months and studied abroad in Newcastle, England. I met a group of Christians there that were on campus and I was actually discipled for the first time there. That experience and learning how important Christ was in my, in my daily life and in my daily living period, the application of just living, uh, led me to commit. Um, one Sunday while I was over there, just I committed that I wanted my artwork to be about God. The validity of my artwork comes from my relationship from God. So I, I can't really separate the two. I believe my giftedness comes from God. I, I believe that it's one quality that I've I've been blessed with that can uh, reflect uh, the fact that he's a creator. Well, my commitment was at, at the time was hardcore. I, I was like, well, I'm not. Nothing's going to come out of this hand unless it's about Jesus. Uh, and as I grew to understand more about what art was, the elements of design, the elements, of the things you, they teach in, in college. Unknowingly, what you see is aesthetically pleasing in most cases. Um, there, there's an, a foundation and an elements behind that that lead you to see these things like rhythm and repetition or balance and contrast and texture, all those things. I began to appreciate those more for what they were and knowing that God created them. And I was, I, I kind of uh, backed off and widened my uh, perspective as far as like, oh, you know, a cross doesn't belong in every painting or you know, it, 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 every piece doesn't have to be, you know, a portrait of Jesus. But, you know, God created an apple, God created a flower. That's worthy. He thought it was worthy to create. Well, it should be worthy to take a picture of or to, you know, paint. What I do is use my artwork as kind of like a journaling process with what I'm learning from the Lord. And my hope for the future is, is to see myself continue to create.